so I clearly just woke up still in my pajamas my hair is an absolute mess and I'm gonna like try talking to, through this super fast turns out I'm in a really big hurry I am getting ready for something specific I have to be literally out of the house in one hour because I have to drive an hour to this location when I start off with a natural look I'm always just brushing my eyebrows up. Well, I'm not brushing them up, I'm literally just brushing them out. And for a natural look, I actually like to go in with a brow pencil instead of powder. I look so crusty. You guys are gonna watch like a major transformation. Like, like I even have like dark circles under my eyes, but we're gonna cover that up real good with some concealer. I have some self tanner on. So I'm a little bit dark, which is awesome because the bronzer is going to look really good. I like to draw my brows a little bit fluffy. And from being younger and having my older sister pluck my brows back in the day, we all know that thin brows were, you know, a thing. So now my brows literally do like don't grow hair right here. So I'm always having to draw them in. actually using the Stila right now. Stila and this is the shade Dark. I never do blonde colors for my hair because I feel like it turns out to be like orange and I don't know, it's just not flattering. My brows themselves are like dark so I'm gonna do the other brow super quick. All right, so I got my brows on and now I'm gonna go ahead and put some primer on my face. My everyday like go-to primer that works pretty well is the the e.l.f. The Poreless Putty Primer. Do you guys see my hands? They look absolutely crazy. For one, this is from all my back workouts. Normally my hands get ripped, but this color is from self tanner that I had to do for a photo shoot. So, <laughs> let's ignore that hand. But okay, anyways, I'm just gonna go in with some putty. Primer on my face and not too much, but I like to use it on an every day because like I said it works really good Jeffree Star did a review over it and after he did a review it was like Impossible to find in stores He compared it to a luxury brand. So I like to use it on an every day because it's very affordable. If I'm just using it every day and I'm not seeing anyone important or I'm not doing anything super special, I don't like to use expensive products. So anyways, I'm priming my eyes with concealer. Any concealer works. I'm gonna conceal all the veins and discoloration in the eyelids. I'm gonna go ahead and set that with just some powder. Normally, I wouldn't set it if I was doing actual eyeshadow look. But because I am keeping my eyelids very, very natural, I don't want the concealer to be creasing on my eyelids. I'm just doing this to get rid of any discoloration. So really quick, I'm gonna go in and gel my eyebrows. I don't remember, I think this is Maybelline. I took off the sticker accidentally. I'm gonna go ahead and just brush my eyebrows up. And I feel like it gives it a more like natural and fluffy effect to it. Yeah, for a natural look, go in with a highlighter. And this is by ColourPop. It is the Wisp. I'm just going to go in with this on my lids. As I'm doing my face makeup, I'm going to let my eyelash glue get tacky. So the lashes I'm wearing today, I use the kind of the same brands because I see what kind of brands work for me, what kind of bands I like, and what looks more natural. I'm using the kiss, and these are gonna be the lashes I will be using today. They're super natural, super fluffy. I'm gonna be letting the glue get tacky on that, and then I'm gonna start working on my face. So because my eyebrows are so dark, I always get asked what my natural hair is. I was born with like blonde hair. It was very, very blonde. It wasn't a dirty blonde. I just had brown in my hair too. Like it literally looked like I had natural highlights. Right now, I'm currently completely platinum. So I got rid of all the brown in my hair. And any girl knows that that is a lot of work to take care of. It is very damaging and gets very, very expensive. In my last video, I cut my hair like this short. Okay, I didn't cut it. 
my roommate cut it like this short but um, in that video I actually colored my hair by myself I just didn't edit any of that in. I mean, I recorded myself coloring my hair, but I didn't put that in just because I didn't think it was interesting enough for myself, and it turned out pretty good. So it's a lot of like maintenance, a lot of keeping up to do, a lot of toner, bleach. I think that's like one of my biggest insecurities when I'm actually recording is if my hair looks blonde enough. Foundations that I'll be using today is gonna be my Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus. Every product that I have or I do use, I watch a lot of reviews, either from Jeffree Star or Tati or other YouTubers. I watch a lot of their reviews. So if they tell me a drugstore product is good, you best believe I'm already on my way to the drugstore. Any way that I can save money, I'm saving money. And I got it pretty good to actually my skin color, so not bad. Also, like one thing I wanna say is with this whole YouTube thing, it is a lot of work. To anyone who has tried it out or does video, I give you a lot of respect for it because I honestly, going into it, I didn't think it was it was gonna take as long as it does editing. It is so hard. I don't really know technology that well, so I promise the first time I ever, ever, ever did the YouTube editing, it literally took me a month straight because I had to Google absolutely every little detail about editing, like every detail I am Googling. And it was so frustrating because I would watch a video and I had to watch it like three other times, pause it, and then watch it again because I forgot what they just said and I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. It took a lot of work, but after doing about, I wanna say six videos, I'm probably in on six videos now. I finally, finally catching on. Obviously, I'm still not a pro. I have a lot to learn and a lot of things to do to make it like really cool and interesting, but I think so far I'm like doing all right. I'm pretty proud of the last video that I posted, but one thing I am probably gonna do, not only makeup, I think I wanna start doing fitness things. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think it would even motivate me more to you know like if I'm on a diet to stay to the diet if I'm working out to work out harder okay I got both of my lashes on see supernatural but enough to give it some flirtation now we're gonna go ahead and go in with some concealer I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline girls you probably already know this concealer is super popular works really well it's like an eraser for under eyes Anyways, I started getting dark circles and to be honest I thought I was only gonna get them after like having kids or whatever but because my sleeping schedule has been literally all over the place I've been so busy I'm literally putting a hundred and ten percent into absolutely everything so there's nights where I I have to get up at three in the morning for work or whatever it may be and then there's nights where I am going to sleep at three in the morning that's how these under bags dark circles were created then, real quick I'm gonna go ahead and bake the underneath very lightly because I'm not trying to look caked up I'm still trying to look very natural so I'm gonna go in with some of this magic I kind of like to almost just like push it into the pores and drag it down my face to get rid of the remaining stickiness. And I'm gonna go in right away with some bronzer. Because I got this tan on, I started using my Kat Von D bronzer palette. I'm going in with a middle shade because it's not too dark, but it's gonna give me a little bit of a kissed look, but natural effect. trick that I started doing recently with my with my highlighter is I take it on my finger I'm using the same highlighter I put on my eyelids I smile and I put it literally on just my cheek areas and I feel like it gives your skin like a glassy look to it because I feel like when you put it up here at certain angles I notice on girls it literally looks straight up chalky also, I noticed this trick off when I was watching one of Jaclyn Hill's YouTube videos and I was like, oh my gosh, her skin looks freaking amazing. Really quick with some of my Morphe. Love this stuff. It smells so good. It smells like flowers.
and I'm gonna start in my hair because now I have like five to ten minutes left. I'm gonna go ahead and do some final touches with mascara, adding some lips on my face, but I'm gonna be going super fast and not talking because I have like three minutes to finish everything. Oh, by the way, my um, Better Than Sex mascara. And this is like my everyday makeup look without the eyeliner. I'm gonna stand up with this camera. I know it's a bit bright, but... 